you won your state's lottery of 10 million after taxes you invest your winnings in a five year 10 million five year fixed deposit in a local bank it promises to pay you 8% per year compounded annually this bank also lets you reinvest interest at that rate for the duration of the deposit how much will you have at the end of five years if your money remains invested at 8% with no withdrawals yeah please go ahead so let's let's try to do it on a financial calculator we will say 10 first second clear tvm 10 is a present value 5 would be n 8 would be iy and then we will say compute future value so the answer would be 1.4693 and therefore this is the correct answer should we move on An investment manager estimates that his client will make 10 million contribution five years from now. The rate of return on this investment has been estimated at 8% per year. The manager wants to calculate the future value of this contribution 20 years from now. What is that future value? Yeah, you can simply refer to them as ABC in the sequence. Let's put this on a timeline. This is uh, time 0, this is time 5 and this is time 20. An investment manager estimates that his client will make 10 million contribution 5 years from now. So this is where he's going to make a contribution of 10 million. Rate of return is 8% and he wants to know how much will we have in year 20. Now the distance between year 5 and year 20 is 15 years. These are the number of years for which money is going to compound. So how we will solve this? Second clear TVM. 10 would be present value. 15 would be N. 8 would be IY. Compute future value. The amount he would have would be 31.72 and therefore the correct answer would be 31721691. Should we move on? A financial instrument offers to pay you 7% compounded monthly. You decide 100,000 to invest 100,000 for two years. What is the future value of your investment if interest payments are reinvested at 7%? So again, how do you solve this? Second clear TVM, 100,000 should be the present value because that's what you're investing today. Two years means 24 months. Since the compounding is monthly, 24 would be N. Interest rate per month would be seven divided by 12. And then we will compute future value. And therefore the answer would be 114980. So this is the correct answer. Should we go ahead? Next one. Suppose a 5,000 investment will earn 9% compounded continuously for three years. What is the future value? So again, how do you solve this is? We have to say 5000 which is your present value into e raised to r t. r is the interest rate which is 0 0.09. t is going to be number of years 3. So on a financial calculator 9% which gives us 0 0.09 multiplied with 3 which would give us 0 0.27. Second e raised to x which will give us a future value factor of 1.31. And that we will multiply with 5000. So the answer in this case would be 6549, which is here. Should we go ahead? Mr. Albert has 10 million portfolio and invest 7% of it in money market. 
fund projected to earn 4% annually estimate the value of this portion after 7 years be careful with the words they can trick you on the exam Let's see how to deal with this. The trick in this question is that he is going to invest only 7% of 10 million portfolio into money market fund. So 10 million into 7%. This is the amount which we've invested, which is in millions. This is your present value. This is invested at 4% compounded annually. So four would be IY and it's invested for how many years? Seven years. So seven would be N compute future value. And it would give us 0.92 million. That means it would be 9 lakh or 921,152. And therefore, this is the answer. Are we fine? Next one. So again, 20,000 is what we are going to invest every year. So which means it's an annuity, second clear TVM, 20,000 payment, 20 would be N, 8 would be IY, compute future value, which would give us 915,000. So the correct answer is this one. Next question. The nominal quoted rate is on a loan is 12%. Effective annual rate is 12.55. What is the compounding frequency? Monthly. So in this case, how we solve this, we know that the quoted rate is 12 and the effective annual is 12.55. We are expected to find out the compounding frequency. So we have quarterly, weekly and monthly. We will calculate using monthly. If we left, if we are, if we have less than that, then we will know that answer is weekly. Or if you have more than the answer would be quarterly. So let's solve this question with uh, monthly compounding with an assumption of monthly compounding. The easiest way to deal with this, assume that you've invested hundred. So hundred would be present value. If 12% is per annum compounding is monthly, IY would be one. So one would be IY and 12 would be N which would leave us with future value of 112.68, which means with monthly compounding, we are left with higher amount. That means the answer in this case has to be quarterly, but let's cross check and see if we get the correct answer. Second clear TVM, 100 present value, 12% per annum. So per quarter, it would be three, four would be N compute future value that would give us exactly 112.55 that means 12.55 percent so the answer is quarterly next question a bank in Mongolia offers you an investment option of Mongolian to groups 200 every year for 10 years what is the future value of the annuity given that investment earns a return of 8 percent so again on your financial calculator you will say 200 is payment for how many years? 10 years. So 10 would be N, 8 would be IY, compute future value, which would give us 2897. So this is the answer. Where is 10,000? Next question. What is the <coughs> present value of five year annuity that pays 200 at the beginning of each of the next five years starting today, 
given a discount rate of 8%. So let's use the annuity function. Now what we need to know in this case, since the payment is being done today, we are on the beginning annuity. So we will say second beginning, second set, so that we have shifted ourselves to beginning, second quit to come out of it, second clear TVM. We are going to pay 200, so 200 would be payment. And this is a five year annuity, five would be N, eight would be IY, compute future value. Compute present value, it doesn't work that way. Second clear TVM, 200 payment, 5N, 8IY, compute present value, and then it would give us 862 SE answer. <laughs> Next one. Suppose a security offers to pay 1000 every year indefinitely. Find out value of the security if required rate of return is 7%. So this is a straightforward case of a perpetuity and the value of perpetuity at time zero is simply cash flow divided by the discount rate. So in this case, 1000 divided by 7%. So 1000 divided by 7%, the answer would be 14285, which is this one. Next question. Matthew Schneel plans to retire in eight years and will require 1.2 million. Today, Schneen will deposit 200,000 into an interest bearing account and will deposit additional 100,000 at the end of each of the next eight years. What is the annual percentage return that Schneen must earn to achieve goal of 1.2 million for his retirement? So what we have here, we have a present value, we have a payment, we have a future value, and we have to, based on that, we have to find out what should be the IY earned. The only thing we need to be careful with this question is the signs of those payments. So today he's going to deposit 200,000. Every year he's going to deposit 100,000. Since both of these amount he's going to deposit, their signs should be same. Since he wants to withdraw this amount, this should be the opposite sign. So on a financial calculator, second clear TVM, 200,000 would be your hmm, second beginning, second set, second quit, shifting calculator to end mode. 200,000 is the present value. 100,000 would be payment. 1.2 million. 1.2 million would be negative, would be future value. How many years? Eight years. So eight should be N compute IY. That would give us 4.09. Should we move on? Next question. You expect to receive a level perpetuity of 500 per year beginning at year seven. Given a 6% discount rate, the present value of that perpetuity today. So again, what we know is that if your cash flows are starting from year seven, then the value of that investment is going to be value of year six. So value of that asset at time six would be cash flow of year seven divided by discount rate since it's a perpetuity. So 500 divided by 6%, 500 divided by 6% equal to this is the value of asset six years from now, not seven. So we will set this amount as future value, six as N, six as IY and compute present value, which would give us 5847. And therefore this is the answer. Moving on. Sophie Tisdale is planning to purchase a 200,000 apartment by making a down payment of 50,000 and borrowing the remaining amount with a 20 year fixed rate mortgage with monthly payments. The first payment is due one month from now. Mortgage interest rates are quoted at 9% with monthly compounding. 
what would be her monthly mortgage payment so since we know it's a 200000 loan the 200000 house the amount of loan would be 150000 and which has to be your present value 20 years monthly compounding and therefore n should be 240 n interest rate per year is 9 but with monthly compounding so 9 divided by 12 would be your iy compute payment it would give us 1349 therefore this is the answer next one a perpetual security pays semi annual dividends of 100 indefinitely how much should you be willing to pay for the security if required rate of return is 9% compounded semi annually so again we need to be slightly careful here there is a cash flow of 100 every 6 months semi annual rate is 9% semi annual that means for every 6 months the rate would be 4.5% so value of perpetuity would simply be cash flow divided by the appropriate discount rate in this case it would be 100 divided by 4.5% so 100 divided by 4.5% equal to the answer would be Four times two. Next one. An investor bought a stock of hundred thirty of dollar hundred thirty years ago. The stock has returned fifteen percent compounded annually, but has no paid no dividend during this period. The share price now is closest to. So we just have to compound this hundred for a period of thirty years. so second clear tvm 100 present value 30 n 15 iy compute future value it would give us 6621 this is your final answer next anthony parker plans to take vacation 5 years from now at the end of year 5 this type of vacation currently cost $10000 but it is expected to increase by 3% every year on an average he plans to start saving today by contributing into an account that earns 9% annually what contribution must he make today and every year but it is specifically saying five contributions so that he saved enough for the vacation okay so this question we need to solve in two steps in step number 1 we will find out the actual cost of that vacation 5 years from now using the inflation rate which is a 3% and then in step number 2 we will have to shift our calculators to the beginning mode because he will start making the payments today and then we will have to find out what should be the amount of payment so let's do it together second clear tvm 10000 is the present value that's the cost of vacation today he wants to take it in 5 years from now and every year the cost will increase by 3% so compute future value which means that after 5 years the cost of this vacation would be 11592 so storing this number in first memory slot now we need to shift our calculator to the beginning mode so second beginning second set second quit this stored amount becomes the future value 5 would be n the investment is going to earn how much 9% so 9 would be iy compute payment which would give us 1777 which is your final answer next question in 2005 peri limited paid a dividend of 1.23 over the next 7 years the dividends were 1.45 1.88 1.02 up to 1.65 the compounded annual growth rate for the period was so to calculate cagr we actually do not need all of this data what we need is what was the dividend at time 0 1.23 what was the dividend at time 7 1.65 we just need to find out that in this 7 years what is the rate at which dividend has been increasing so we can easily do that with a financial calculator 1.23 negative is the present value 1.65 future value 
7 would be n, compute iy. The compounded annual growth rate would be 4.28.